Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another McJuggernuggets reaction. Normally I don't do these reactions first. But considering that this video is about okay. one of Jesse's dogs that's going to die soon, I have to do this reaction now. Especially because this dog's been known since before the Psycho series. This one is called Saying Goodbye to Poopy John. So let's see what happens in this video. So I just got a text from Jeffrey uh, saying, hey, you should probably come over to Mom and Dad's house because... Uh, Poop John hasn't moved at all. Um, I had just seen him when I went to sign all the posts. The last dog that they lost was Ella. Um, that dog died in 2019, I think it was. Or was it 2018? Actually, it might have been 2018. Uh, I'll have to go back on the Devil Inside series to see. Because even though that episode's listed in the Devil Inside series, that wasn't really a Devil Inside episode because it was a serious video. Similar to this one. So. He was doing okay, but I flipped on the camera just because I don't know what to do. And I don't have to do this again after Ella. I literally have a John Locke painting behind me right now, which is, you know, who John was named after, so... Uh, obviously, the movie's gonna have to wait, or Paul could stay here and keep cutting, and then uh, I think we're gonna head to my parents' house and see what's going on. Why? No. Why does this happen? You know Mr. Johnny, right, Jennies? Jennies and Johnnies. They're a better species than we are, right, bud? Where'd your legs go? <laughs> Just like two or three nights ago, watched a fan-made montage of Ella. And this was really well made. It was by Keep It Rigid 24. Check it out. And I was sobbing. And it's, I was literally like thinking in my head, I was like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to do the same thing with John. John's been in so many videos. <laughs> And, like, we've known recently, literally at the beginning of this. That's right. John was the dog that Jesse and Corn snuck over to uh, Teresa back in the Psycho series. I remember that now. This year, when my parents were here for New Year's, John was here. It was very foggy and misty. You kind of got just, like, this nasty feeling. It's not a good way to start the year, to be honest. And we were talking about, can John make it through the year? Just because, like, he needed help to get up the stairs and we weren't sure if he was going to be able to traverse the rock stairs down to the lake and he did and we we're like oh he's good he's good and he's done i'd say pretty well even though like you know my dad has to carry him sometimes hello hey yeah it makes sense that this video is on mcjuggernick it's his normal channel this is not something that should be on his backup channel anyway so i totally get why this is on his normal channel for a moment, when I saw the video, I thought it was his backup channel, but then I looked again, it's actually on his normal channel, the one with 4 million subs, so, so on the tell you'll see McChuck and Nuggets reaction instead of just Jesse Witchway reaction. It just depends what video he uploads on what channel, because he uploads on two different channels. He doesn't upload too much on McChuck and Nuggets, but he uploads like a couple times a week on his backup channel, or I shouldn't really call it backup channel anymore, more like second channel, but still. Alright, so... Also, after this, I will do a launch TV reaction, but after seeing this video, I have to do this one first. Uh, is John... Well, Jeffrey just said he's not moving. No, he's laying in his bed. This morning when he got up, he basically was laying across my legs. So I carried him outside, and he basically pooped when we got out the door, which was good. And then I stood him there, and he barely could hold himself up. And he started, like, dribbling pee out of him. And then he did slowly meander over to Mom's uh, gnome village, and then that's where he just laid down. Is it Psycho Dad up on today, too? So we'll, we'll be reacting to his video, too. But I don't know if it's going to be about this yet. But next week, when Psycho Dad uploads, it probably will be. There. And since, and then I had to carry him from there back in the house, and he's just been laying in his bed. Then again, maybe not, because Jesse's doing a video about this, and Jesse does have 4 million subs, so. That ever since. He was fine yesterday? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if he was drooling, that sounds like he ate something bad. Right, right. And, and he doesn't look like he's in any pain because he's just laying there. He's not a whip or... Yeah. I didn't like when I was there signing posters and Lily was just like, Lily, like, didn't even care about it. Like, he was, she was just, like, walking all over him and... Yeah. And I was like, well, that's not good. It's an old man, you know, just like some big <laughs> dog, like... You know, stepping all over you. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, he. But 
like I said, up till last night, he was he seemed good. Because I just you. yeah, that's a long ride for you. I know. Well, I want to obviously be there because I just I, I don't know. I just don't trust. Obviously, I'm just afraid they're gonna want to put him down or they're gonna make some stupid call and end up causing something worse and put him in pain. I just don't want them to do something stupid which they've been known to do i mean we can let you know what they what, the, what they say before we make any decisions you know yeah i mean of course you know we we're, we're open that it's something fixable but you know he is almost 14 yeah i mean dogs can live hella old though you know there's plenty of exceptions that's why it's like i don't you know i don't know i'll i'll, I'll meet you guys there but just also call me before anything Okay. All right, I'm on my way. Okay. All right, look at that. Right. Love you, bye. Be good. Be good, Jenny. We're going to go see Johnny. We're going to go see John. Make sure he's okay. It doesn't feel right. I don't think... I don't... I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be okay. I think it's just one of those little fluke, uh, fluke scares. We're probably going to get stuck in traffic. I'm just hoping we can get there in time. This is terrifying. What happens now? So it's whether or not, uh, well, the obvious one is, is like he's in pain. Uh, so it's either the obvious option that is there's euthanasia, of course, but then op the other option is to uh, get him into surgery, uh, remove the ruptured mass in the spleen, uh, and then depending on whether or not it was benign, uh, it's it's cancerous. It's coming back, and he would require chemotherapy, of which they're ballparking. You could get another six months out of him. I guess just the the rupturing of the tumors is so much that he just needs to rest. Cause he said he was standing and walking normally earlier. Yesterday. Yesterday. So it, it ruptured then overnight when he was asleep. That's what she well, said. Yeah. Yeah. It can, it can be night and day. Um, and that. Uh, he is in pain and he is internally bleeding and I don't know what to do. Same here. This is 2018 all over again. I'm just going to say that now. Jesse lost to Ella, Jesse Jeffrey, the, his whole family in 2018 and it looks like they're going to have to go through this again now. He, whether that's at the very tip end of this year or at the start of next will depend. I don't want to be selfish. <laughs> but if he gets six months and then he, and he has problems walking too, so that's... <laughs> I'm team try and clean it up and roll the dice. Because I know if it, if I were John, I would want to I would want to shot at living longer, or else then you know you're done. And and I don't think that would be selfish on anyone's part. It's because it's actually I think the opposite. You know, life is pain, and I, I feel like to you know he's he's a workhorse, and I feel like I don't know. I, it's unfair that the tumor and then it ruptured and stuff. But like I don't know. If there's any way they could try. If they're confident, they can clean it all up, you know? Excuse oh, us, sorry. Uh, we have arrived, and uh, there's been... There's been nothing, uh, no updates yet, uh, but everyone's here. John's not here right now. Uh, but he's just like hooked up. Oh, okay. IV. That's it. Yep. And just keep oh. going. Oh. Was the spleen okay? It's or most it? likely the, a tumor of the spleen. We would need to do an ultrasound to know for sure. And this is probably what the surgeon would suggest doing is that if we're moving forward, that we keep him overnight for stabilization. And then tomorrow we can do an ultrasound to determine where it's coming from for surgical planning the vast majority of the time it's the spleen could the spleen have started yesterday or i mean or do you think it was just all of a sudden this morning it's or? usually pretty sudden because it's usually when the vessel ruptures gotcha. but that's when they suddenly have the internal bleeding and what's prognosis usually with the hemo ab surgery 
I can't do an exact number. I can guarantee you if he doesn't have it, yeah, that you it's another point. And that's unfortunately me being blunt. Right, right, right. I think right. I only pay the first 2000 after that's covered. <coughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Fine, sorry. Yeah. Ashley, take a few steps to your right. Just uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He's got the booth. I know. Uh, we got in there. I think John's in the 25 percent, honestly. Yeah. yeah, that's a good. That's a good percentage, baby. Yeah. 25 yeah. percent. Yeah. I would take those odds. I love the pre-existing issues. So Nothing in the chat. Right. A chance and right. Yeah. I don't think it's that crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, it's like, John's proven, too, that, like, he is a horse. He, he is a horse. I don't... Yeah, a horse. I think he surprised everyone. So. And, again, yesterday he was running or... Trotting. trotting. He was trotting. So, I mean, I, I, I agree. Give him a chance. I don't know. If I was John, I would want a shot. Because I think what everyone wants is you want to be relieved of pain. Yeah. But I think most people assign it to be like, well, then let put them out. It's like, no, 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 there's a caveat to that. It's not you just want to be out of pain. It's you want to be out of pain and still exist. And I think it was good that we did come because if we didn't, he would have just died. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm not sure I heard you correctly, but this is what it sounded like. We were talking about coming to your place in New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. Talking we about how hard it was to get him up the mm -hmm. stairs mm -hmm. and that your father would have to carry him. And then you walked out to where John was laying, and you said, and I thought this is what I heard, uh, if he makes it. Yeah, yeah. did say that. Yeah, guys, this was very different from, I wish we, I had video in retrospect of Ella, um, but we were in a very small room like this, but she was in the middle, and it was uh, it was pretty, pretty bad. Unfortunately, we didn't have any hope for yeah, that situation. For that yeah, that was just like, just she was just bad. Intent. Yeah. John about to turn 14. I know. Yeah. I'm like so pleasantly surprised because I thought she was going to come back. And so right. Yeah, so he's his chest loaded. was loaded with cancer. Yeah. But this makes more sense. John's always been super fit. Yeah, that's the thing with the, the Doc John. See, the Doc John could uh, survive a good bit longer. It was different with Ella because Ella had cancer in 2018, so... Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. And healthy and... Yeah. It's the balls. Yeah, it's, it's the balls. It's he the still balls. has his sex organs, which gives him a will to live. First question asked when we came in. Has he been neutered? Yeah, they uh, did. You take a look at those yeah, babies. You take a look at them babies. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's like a decide my fate, so... And now we're trying not to make... Uh, let the finance factor in too much, but it is, it's like literally 20 up to twenty thousand dollars for surgery and all these things i'm fine with covering whatever for that but the problem the, the 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 only decision that i'm thinking of is if you do go into diagnostic surgery tonight which is what i'm leaning towards to get in as soon as possible versus him staying overnight potentially bleeding longer needing a transfusion in the morning going through an ultrasound in the morning and then doing the surgery i think it's like the more time we waste the more <laughs> the more he's bleeding internally which will mean, mean he needs a blood transfusion more and and sometimes your body rejects the the new blood that it receives and i don't know i know for me i got diagnostic surgery and they never saw anything and like on any scan and they went in they fixed it i was good i th i think it's like kind of a a no-brainer. I said, well, that's what Juggernaut gets in there. And I said, and he goes, oh, my God, is that the one where you guys run over the videos? And I said, yeah. And he goes, oh, my God, I love that. I love Angry Grandpa. And that's yeah. how it went. So. Yep. No Seca series. <laughs> I didn't film it. Yeah, he came in and was like, yo, I was just watching an Angry Grandpa video, like, yesterday. And knows all the videos, so he said, big fan, so that's dope. But now I know, like, let's get it. Let's get John good. I'm going to try to hype him up a little bit, you know. Be like, yo, dude, you got this. You know, I think if we're too... Yeah, no, I don't mean that. But if we're, like, too somber, I don't know. Take as much time as you need. It's okay, John. It's okay, John. He looks better now than he did with Good boy, John. Good boy. Yeah.
Okay, John. Good boy. That was your buddy. Oh, you bud. Put your head down, bud. There you go. stays alive for a while longer. Sucks that they're going through this again. to live yep you know so i think i think he'll be good actually yeah well, let's we'll know how it goes guys love in the comments for john sucks i remember with ella it was like she got put down and then immediately walked out to the parking lot it was just like completely lost it because that was it you know but it's different like saying goodbye to John in there it's like I didn't want to say goodbye I wanted to say hey man and he perked up a couple times he knew he knew it was all of us so he's like he knows we're rooting for him so you know uh luckily he'll get more blood if they need it they'll watch him they'll monitor him and they'll get surgery and then uh you know hope for the best <laughs> I hope so sucks I'm tired of this shit sucks getting older it's like another dog or another family member love you just toss cuddle and brush it off brush it off with bounce pet making money on tiktok is so easy now just upload your over one minute video and get dog or another family member love you guys we're on a journey back to the rigid house to uh get john's check but we stopped at this place called meza which is like these chipotle greek like chipotle type bowls did you try it random girl on the street did you try it is it good it's pretty good oh nice yep so that's where we're at guys trying to eat away our sorrows we haven't eaten anything all day yeah let me say spicy but it's good oh it looks good yeah Jeez. It's weird being back here. We were shooting a movie here. That's weird, right? It is weird. It has like a odd energy in in, <laughs> in the house, and it's freezing. Maybe that's it's it. Freezing in here. Um, grab my checkbook because I gotta pay the eleven grand for Mr. John. Um, and then my dad texts me, 
and said, I haven't read it yet. He said, thank you for being there with us. One of the hardest decisions a person has to make. Glad we were there as a family. He said, you're very, you very generous and your compassion is amazing. Love you. We appreciate you and Ash running back with a check. We are emotionally drained. It's crazy how in a short period of time, a dog can make such an impact on everyone. And I decided to post, I wasn't sure about it, I decided to post to Twitter and Instagram uh, the photo of John to let you guys in on what's going on, which we didn't do with Ella. We did, it was like kind of, I like filmed it and then we kept the actual events off camera because it was so hard. I feel like I was like strong enough to be able to make this video. I probably won't ever, I'll, I'll wanna maybe watch it, I don't know. I feel like now I'm older, I have like a better handle of these types of events, but um, it's still emotionally hard, but I feel like I'm getting maybe how the doc. Yeah, I get it, Jesse. I mean, it's hard to lose a pet, so I've been through that a couple times in my past, so I totally get it. Doctors get where I like, you just got to try to make the right decision for the animal and whatever happens, happens, you know. Um, but I appreciate all the support. Just all the support. Just on on, on Twitter alone. Thank you, guys. Uh, John? John's, John's been a part of family for about half of my life. And was like the last tether to Ella. You know, they, they grew up together. In a lot of ways, and uh, you know, Luna was there, but only towards, only for the first few years of Ella. I don't know. It's just like the amount of videos John's been in, the amount of fun times that we've had together. And I think I said it to him. I don't know. It's all been very blurry, but I'm pretty sure I told him. I was like, "Dude, you're the strong one," and it hurts to see it like this. Not giving up hope. Just because like it didn't work with Bailey or Ella went so quick, even though John's 14, four years older than Ella, it doesn't mean it's the end. And I don't know. I don't think it's just denial. I really don't. I think uh, he's a strong boy. Strong he's dog, it. dude. He got it. And I think I think we will see him again. Right. Grab my checkbook. Yeah. Thank you guys for all the all the support means a lot and this is just an ongoing vlog journey right now uh, never fun so we just made it back to the hospital and look what they have here guys look at these balls oh my is that one pooping right now oh um. bullshit We gotta lighten the mood here, guys. Look at these bulls. Look how cool they are. Uh, guys, so it was hell in there. Um, I dropped off the check. The check got denied for some reason. They use this weird telecheck system or whatever. Not a shout out to them. They sucked. <laughs> they were like, we're declining. They said John just got some anti-nausea medicine, some fluids. They said he's sprawled out, sleeping. He's good. Oh, it's empty. Oh. Animals can bite, don't hand feed. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this so is a, <laughs> throw, uh, it in throw it in. <laughs> yeah. He looks hungry. Oh, no, he looks hungry. <laughs> you won't let him lick you. No, he'll bite. No, he won't bite. Oh, <laughs> he won't bite. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's crazy just the support for just, you know, one family dog, you know. A lot of you guys know Poop John. I gotta take these dogs out, but my brain's rocked. It's a hug your dog moment. It's okay, it's okay. Good morning. It's okay. So, uh, it's time to save Christmas, Johnny. John needs to save Christmas. Hopefully, uh, Poop John Christmas miracle happens, and we'll find out tomorrow what happens with the surgery. I'm deathly afraid of waking up to bad news. Um, but who knows? Maybe for once, we'll wake up to something positive. Well, guys, it is the next day, and we barely slept. It's way later than morning. Uh, we were up 
different intervals checking our phones for any text updates uh, i was just worried about you know what's going on with john and uh so he got the surgery and he's okay Yay. i know I, i'm like i want to be like super pumped i am like super relieved i'm just scared that like all of a sudden like it turns Mm -hmm. Um, so he got his whole entire spleen removed, which, yes, the, now my spleen irony. The tumor that was attached to it, like, caused the spleen to pretty much, like, rip in half. So they just took everything out. The hospital is trying to get him to actually walk around, which is crazy. I am just very relieved that Ashley and I got to the animal hospital when we did. I feel really good about the choice, and I think he might surprise us all, and clearly already has i mean the value of just having a few more weeks with your dog is i think worth a lot all right guys drop some likes on the video for poop john and make sure you subscribe for more I, not more of this but no. <laughs> just more, more of this. <laughs> just more videos and uh make sure you follow me on twitter instagram all the things for any potential updates on the movie and john and uh christmas and what's coming in the new year all right guys love you all to death and don't forget to keep it rigid and hug your dang doll hug your dog come here <laughs> video and when John does actually die we'll probably get another update video about that so there might be more to this but hopefully Jesse does do more videos on his main channel so anyways that's the end of this video stay tuned for the next one